In this video, I want to talk about precipitation reactions. This is the first part of this series. As you know, we have different types of reactions. We have precipitation reactions, acid-base reactions, and oxidation reduction reactions. So I'm gonna focus on precipitation reactions first. So what is precipitation reaction? When two solutions are mixed, an insoluble substance sometimes forms. And that substance or that insoluble substance is a solid, is a solid and separates it from the solution and this solid is called a precipitate so such a reaction is called a precipitation reaction and the solid that forms is called a precipitate so it means that we have two solutions when we mix them together one of them one of the products will be the solid phase we call it precipitate let's have a quick example the precipitation reaction occurs when an aqueous solution of potassium chromate, as you see here, which is a yellow, is added to a colorless aqueous solution containing barium nitrate. So these are the reactants of our reaction. So when these solutions are mixed, a yellow solid forms. A yellow solid forms, it means that that's a precipitate and the reaction we have is precipitation reaction so the two reactants we have here are aqueous solutions it means that they are dissolved into water and as we saw it before in electrolyte part when we dissolve a ionic compound into water it's going to be dissociated into different ions which is one cation and one anion so as you see here we have uh, potassium uh, potassium chromate here and um, barium nitrate here and barium nitrate is dissociated into cation and anion and here we have the same thing we have potassium chromate as you see here the, the potassium chromate is yellow and the barium nitrate is colorless so let's talk about each reactant first we have barium nitrate a in the aqueous phase means the barium nitrate a white solid has been dissolved in water barium nitrate solution contains the cation and anion the cation is barium and anion is nitrate and this barium nitrate aqueous solution doesn't contain any original compound before that we had before dissolving it in water so it contains only the cations and anion in the solution we have the same thing for potassium chromate since solid potassium chromate contains the potassium and chromate ions it aqueous an aqueous solution of potassium chromate which is prepared by dissolving solid potassium chromate in water contains these separated ions so we have these ions too so we have two reactants in the beginning each of them is dissociated into different ions so we have two cations and two ions as reactants so we have it here so that's the reaction we have these two reactants both of them are in a aqueous phase we don't know anything about the products yet but we know both of these aqueous solution is dissociated into different ions we have potassium and chromate from here and we have barium and nitrates from here so it means that in reactant in our solution we have four different ions again two ions two cations and two anions Possibility when ions form a solid compound the compound must have a zero net charge Thus the product of this reaction must contain both anions and cation to get a to get this zero net charge So it in the product side we need to have one cation and one anion in a compound So for example two cations cannot form a solid or two anions cannot form a solid so Barium and potassium cannot combine together to form a solid. And on the other hand, nitrate and chromate cannot combine and to form a solid. As you see here, we, these two cannot uh, combine and these two cannot combine. So in the product line, we need to have two products and each of them has to have a cation and anion. So this possible combination of a given cation and a given anion from the list of ions are nitrate, chromate barium and potassium so we can have these possible compounds and each of them has one cation and one anion potassium chromate potassium nitrate barium chromate barium nitrate so 
Barium nitrate and potassium chromate cannot be because they are reactant. If I go back here, potassium chromate and barium nitrate are reactant. So we cannot have them in the we cannot have these two in the products. So the products must be KNO3 and barium chromate. So these two compounds are the products. So now let's see which one of these two forms a solid or forms a precipitate. Uh, the only possibility is KNO3 and barium chromate. So potassium and nitrate ions are both colorless. So they, if the solids, which is a KNO3, dissolve, it is going to be white, not yellow. On the other hand, the chromate E ion is yellow. So it means that do we have these two compounds in our products and we know this one is colorless so it cannot be the answer it cannot be the compound that we have it as a precipitate so we can say barium chromate is the precipitate and also we can say the chromate ion is yellow so since the chromate ion is yellow so the yellow solid is barium chromate So that's the, that's the overall precipitation reaction. We have potassium chromate plus barium nitrate. Both of them are in aqueous phase. On the product line, we have one aqueous phase and one solid. That's why we have aqueous uh, precipitation reaction. So barium chromate is a solid, it's our precipitate. And on the other hand, we have potassium nitrate, which still exists in a solution as different dissociated ions. We still have our solu in the solution potassium, K plus, and nitrate ions. So we, we have them as dissociated ions. But this one forms during the precipitation reaction.